my attention that didn't the last time I read it. Be marveled at it. Ooh, ah. Be excited about it. They told, they spread the news, they were marveled at it. But Mary kept these things and pondered them in her heart as she should have. So many things are happening to her. Don't be afraid to ponder things, but don't keep them to yourself. I think thinking is going out of style anymore. Ponder these things. And the shepherds returned. After Christmas, after New Year's, kids, you have to go back to school. (laughs) Don't throw anything at me yet. I'm ducking. After Christmas, after the New Year, you've got to go back to work. We have to return, don't we? The shepherds returned, but boy, were they different because they kept glorifying and praising God for all these things. Be filled with His joy. I want to close with something. The very name for this village, Bethlehem, means uh, basically breadbasket. Jesus would say this, Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Don't try to live on what this world offers because it will fall short. Live based on what God says. Jesus would say one day, I am the bread of life. Partake of me. Let that be your highest priority. Uh Uh-oh, here's another one for us. In Matthew chapter 18, Jesus said this, What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine and go to the mountains to seek the one that is straying? Jesus said, He came to seek and to save that which is lost. I find it another paradox to this whole story that he who would make the statement, I am the great shepherd, the night he was born would have shepherds come and find him. Question, has he found you? I'm going to ask you to bow your hearts and your heads with me. And in this moment, I'd like for us to keep it all about Jesus. His coming, so beautiful, so marvelous. But he came to seek and to save you and I. If I were drowning... And you were in a lifeboat. And you could save me. But you couldn't see me. You think I would stay silent? Not on your life. I would yell and I would scream and I would wave my arms at you until you saw me. Jesus came to save you. You have to reach out. And get him also. If you've not done that, my friend, there's a Christmas gift waiting for you yet to be unwrapped. And you haven't reached out and got it yet. Make sure. Because as much as he is Christ and he is Savior, you have to let him be your Lord. As we sing this morning, if you need to respond to that good news, if you need to come and let Jesus into your heart, then please meet me here. The congregation will sing for us. But you and I, let's make this the day that you receive Christ into your heart. And so, Lord, we pause for a moment. 
and ask that your Holy Spirit would now speak to our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. I want you to take your hymn books and turn with me to number 590, I'll Live for Him. Will you stand with me as we sing? And as we do sing, are you living for Him? Is He in your heart, the Lamb of God who died for you? Stand with me. Number 590. child in the manger, but I would let him live on my throne, in my heart. If you've yet to make that commitment, please, don't leave. Let's sit down and talk and visit. Let's make that a true statement today, because it's the greatest gift. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, but whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Lord, we love you. We thank you for letting us get together for one more period of worship in practice that we might join those angels someday and sing glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good, will to all men. Now dismiss us with that precious love that you gave us already and help us to live for you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.